We just learned the Rockledge High School teacher found murdered in her home tried to tell a judge she felt threatened by her husband. Divorce papers show Sandra Cook requested a restraining order, but it was never even filed. Meanwhile, students are now hearing from the principal for the very first time. News 6 reporter Kirsten O'Connor has the story. Many of the students showing up today will be hearing for the first time from their principal about the tragic death of Sandra Cook. Principal Hines says this is a day to celebrate Sandra and all the goals she had for her students. I'm going to tell them that evil may have won a battle, not the war. Um, we're going to celebrate her. Students dressed in Raider blue today in honor of their late teacher Sandra Cook. Grief counselors were standing by as one of Cook's students walked in with flowers. That student's grandmother tells us it's a devastating loss. And she loved her. She said she treated her like she was her second mom. The bodies of Sandra Cook and her estranged husband were found yesterday at the couple's home in Melbourne. Police now saying Cook's husband moved out of the home a month ago and broke in to attack Sandra. Family members say Sandra had recently separated from her husband, filing for divorce in early January. She was recently nominated for Brevard County Teacher of the Year. Principal Tony Hines says Sandra was more than a math teacher for the students and staff at his school, going above and beyond to help kids struggling with the FCAT and college placement tests. She had a phenomenal success rate with those kids, and she's their hero. Mine too. Students are also planning to wear purple in honor of Sandra's favorite color on another day this week. In Rockledge, Kirsten O'Connor, News 6.